He is a celebrated Canadian artist. His iconic paintings of Algonquin Park, legendary. Now a century after his death, Tom Thompson is being remembered with music. CTV's Joel Haslam is here now. This is an interesting story, putting music to Mr. Thompson, right? It's a beautiful hmm. story, actually. Graham and Patricia, the Algonquin Ensemble has crafted a great Canadian celebration of Tom Thompson's life and art, giving the painter of our country's wilderness a voice 100 years after his death. The idea played out on the guitar of a world-famous Canadian luthier. A celebrated Canadian folk singer, inspired to honour iconic Canadian painter, Tom Thompson. Linda Manzer was kind enough to remind us that this was the 100th anniversary of his death, and she said it's all about him this year. When he came home from that conversation, he was just... Yeah, he was excited. He hadn't been excited about anything like that for a long time. Terry Tufts is passionate about Thompson's work, has been since high school. Now, I've been a Tom Thompson buff since uh, my art teacher, Miss Norris. Margaret Norris introduced me to it in grade 9, grade 10. Every time I ran into anything about him or any of his work, it was just electrifying. In spring of 1970, Miss Norris gave a gift to me. On our country's 150th, a century after Thompson's death, a gift of music honors an artist's gift to Canada. The project is called Sonic Palette, Tom Thompson's voice through music a hundred years later. The canvas came alive. Terry, his musical and life partner Catherine Briggs, climbing over the desk to see and veteran Ottawa bassist John Gagey have co-composed 24 pieces in tribute to Thompson, who captured Canada's beauty on canvas. Oh, the color, oh, the water. It's music written in the key of Tom Thompson, art with a mutual interest in making us feel. Oh, the passion. I think that the only way I've been able to do it is to follow your heart when you look at it. What does this make you do? Does it make your heart beat a little faster? Do you, you know? And I do that a lot with his stuff, even the stuff I've seen forever. For me, personally, as I was writing the music, sometimes it would bring me to tears. And that's the kind of impact we're looking for. Here we go. The Algonquin Ensemble gives each Thompson painting a warm, musical embrace. A gratitude-filled hug for a visual feast Canadians can hold and treasure forever. This is about the wild. This is about one fellow's finding himself by going away and looking at the country and through art, giving us a Canadian identity that we didn't have before. Sonic Palette is being performed at the McMichael Canadian Art Collection in Kleinberg, where much of Thompson's work is showcased. And this fall at Leith United, Thompson's boyhood church, a recording is also available. We are so blessed with gorgeous land, and so much of it is still unspoiled. And I want people to appreciate it, to treasure it, and to help, you know, preserve it. Canadian artists celebrating Canada's artist. A birthday gift for a country so worthy of a party. Now, Catherine and Terry spent 18 months researching this project. Again, the Algonquin Ensemble performs its tribute to Thompson this Sunday, July 9th, at the McMichael Canadian Art Collection in Kleinberg, Ontario. 